Hello parents, this is Mrs. McCray. I wanted to give you a quick tour of our ELA homework folder. On the first page, you will find the homework procedures, giving you our purpose and objectives for um, our homework. I have a frequently asked questions, for example, what happens if a student is absent? What happens when school is out on a Friday? Or what happens when school is out on a Monday? What do we do with our homework? or how do we get our homework? So I'm answering those questions. On this front page, I also have my email and a way to contact me um, here at the school. On the next page, you'll find the homework tracker. Here, this is where I, you know, gives me the opportunity of tracking their homework, giving them a sticker or a check mark or a smiley face just to celebrate their efforts. I also have some quick notes um, on the homework tracker page to give us some spelling activity options, a word of encouragement for um, us enjoying reading, um, <clears throat> and some learning websites. Our next page, we have our homework menu. This menu, the uh, students get the opportunity to select uh, different activities to help them with spelling, with reading, or writing. Homework is assigned Monday through Thursday, and they can choose anything on the menu. The goal is 14 points. On the back, there's some other options. As you notice, on page two, uh, points, there's two points at the top, and towards the bottom, we have 12 points. We also have some QR codes where you can scan with your phone or tablet and it will take you directly to the website. On the back of the homework menu, we have the students can write down the total points for each week. Now, if a student uh, was only able to do 10 points, uh, they would jot down 10 points so I can take note of the trend. And if I need to make any modifications, uh, I will. However, um, <clears throat> students last year, they really enjoyed the homework menu and really enjoyed the freedom of being able to ch choose um, their type of learning. I had students with 26 to 28 points last year, so they went over and above. Um, so it just lets me see you know, their learning style, things that they kind of gravitate to. On the back, if you don't mind, sometime this week or next week, have them to set a homework goal for this first quarter. <clears throat> have them to jot down what that goal is and then what are some things that they were going to do to help them to reach that homework goal. At the end of the quarter or the beginning of the next quarter, um, I'm gonna sit down and conference with them and check in to see if they reach their goal. I wanna see what is something that they did well and what is one thing that they will do for the following quarter? Next, we have an example of our homework newsletter. Here, you'll have a quick message from me or um, one of our students. Um, as the year goes on, um, we'll have one of our classmates, one of our students, write the newsletter of our learning and what we're doing in the class. Here we'll have our spelling words. We'll have a featured word. This feature word, um, it's just for fun, just to build our vocabulary. They can use a dictionary. They can try to discover the word meaning uh, for that word um, that's featured. It's just for fun. Here we have some quick reminders of what for in the class as well as, as for school. In this empty or this space below, here we have our spelling words, but down here um, I'll have a uh, information on the spelling pattern for that the group of words that's in that section. And here I have a space um, where you can write your questions, your comments, or any celebrations that you and uh, your child are, you're having with the homework. On the back I have uh, the website to vocabulary.com. I'm giving students the opportunity to join me to learn new words, practice our words from our spelling list. So each week, um, they'll get the opportunity to practice word through vocabulary.com.
gmail.com as well as other uh, ways they can practice. Just want to find a way that's best suited for them. Here we have our cursive writing. We'll be practicing cursive writing. Um, I've set time aside to do some cursive writing practice and we'll do that during our dictation game where I'll read a sentence and they'll write down what they hear. They'll connect with a peer and them and a peer will edit that sentence and then I'll reveal the actual sentence and they wanna, uh, they'll see how many points they can tally up um, and see if they actually were able to get the sentence correct. Um, after that, they'll get a letter of the day and they'll practice that letter in cursive. And then as we go on in the year, we'll practice um, writing words in cursive and writing uh, sentences in cursive. Also here we have some commonly misspelled words, some homophones, character traits, greeting Latin roots, and common themes they may come across um, in books that they've, they're reading. Here um, I have a support tool. You know, sometimes we get questions. What can I do to help my child with reading at home? Uh, here we have some, just a support tool for some word solving, comprehension, and fluency, just things to help give some guidance, as well as some word solving strategies, just a few more, and uh, just to provide that support. Over here, um, we'll go through, through the year practicing uh, different uh, grammar parts of speech and I just wanted to include a um, tool so they have something to reference all of these are tools that they can have something to reference because there's things that will go over throughout the year and if they don't use them daily uh, they may forget so I want to make sure I have um, tools in their homework folder that they can reference all year long here we have prepositions Another tool uh, for uh, punctuation, types of sentences, when to use the type of punctuation. Just a cute little, some cute little monsters telling us about punctuation. Uh, types of sentences, complete sentences, fragments, uh, run-ons, and some examples. We're going to, again, I'm going to teach them how to write a paragraph, review how to write a paragraph. We're going to practice not only writing paragraphs, but essays. We're gonna write four paragraph uh, essays, but so they just have the structure and again, a resource, a tool that they can go back and reference the whole year. Over here, um, I have some stems, some question stems uh, for writing as well, for, as well as for reading that they can go through and just to provide some more support. And that's front and back. Again, another tool for verbs, adverbs, helping verbs, action verbs, just in case we forget. And just in case they needed another format, the other format may be a little overwhelming for, for a few. So I just wanted to give another option with some examples. And last, we have our tech, uh, non-fiction text features chart. Um, these are some text features that they're going to discover or encounter as they read nonfiction text this year. And um, it's great when they know the purpose uh, for those text features because it really helps them when they're reading nonfiction text. And we have some examples on the side and this is front and back. Starting next week, they'll get a homework page that looks similar to this, just like the example we had. And they'll have their spelling words, the, the quick message from me, features, reminders, um, and some boxes below this this is a different one and I'll modify it but you'll the homework will be on the side like this and with the date for the week and they'll um, uh, turn this paper in along with their homework folder on Friday morning on the back of this page is the homework tracker page um, here you'll um, have the student name of the week listed and then here They'll just notate what activities they chose for the week. Again, this is flexible. I know people have, we really have busy schedules and our schedules are filled with work, with activities, dinner time, family time. So the homework menu 
gives you an option, um, an opportunity to pick and choose based on your schedule. For example, if you have some things going on Monday night and there's no activity, um, no, nothing being chosen from the homework menu, then you would leave this blank as well as the points blank. Um, say a student chooses something from the homework menu for Tuesday night and they want to try spelling syllables. So they, they would take they do spelling syllables, they would write spelling syllables here, and that was four points, they would write four points. The goal is to have 14 points by the end of, um, by Thursday, so they can turn it in Friday morning. That's the goal. If I notice there's a trend of them not meeting that goal of 14 points, we'll sit down and um, have a conference, see what's going on, and see if we need to make any modifications or changes, or see how we can, um, create an opportunity for success for them. Um, the overall goal, we want them to feel uh, encouraged and we want them to have good success uh, in fourth grade. Um, I hope this quick tour of the homework folder helps and will set our students up for great success when we start our homework for next week. Have a great night and have fun.